you're blaming the government, but Camilla, where in all of this is your fault? Because you were at the helm of this place. My fault is that I didn't manage to raise enough money. All these allegations of financial mismanagement are absolute rubbish. We have had 19 years of clear audits. In addition, there were two additional government-initiated uh, audits that were also clear. These are all excuses for government not taking responsibility for providing appropriate funds for the large numbers of children who are pouring through our doors, who have mental health and social care difficulties that are very severe mm. and we're in neighborhoods where the child protection department can't cope but you were uh, uh, do you accept giving children cash handouts essentially in, we were in not envelopes. giving children cash we have 36,000 children young people and vulnerable adults using our services of that group a small proportion get food vouchers, but they get bus cash passes. Is Let me finish, said. yeah. Look, food vouchers, bus passes, and they get about 10 or 20 pound per person, depending on their circumstances. Cash to top up things like electricity meters, gas meters. That's not what some of the children, and I know you've heard some of the yes. children who have said, actually, we got 50 pounds, 200 pounds, and they could spend it on whatever they wanted at the end of the week. I mean, some people will say that's not a responsible way to run a charity. And do you know how much cash you were giving a, in a week? First of all, I don't give the cash personally. Let's You're get in that. charge, aren't hold you? Hold on, hold on. I don't give the cash personally. There is a team of social workers and clinicians who decide what each case gets. So tell me and how for much good it, reason. So tell me on average over a week or over a month how much cash is being handed over in envelopes to children. It all depends. It's not it's normally not more than ten or twenty pounds per person depending and how on many their children circumstances. Over a, uh, over a month the then. last count, food vouchers uh, bus passes and cash altogether was 1,400 people. Look, the, the Cabinet Office is saying, look, the charity was unsustainable. You admit that it, you were working hand to mouth. You had a budget of £23 million. Pounds. I mean, if you have to close the doors the moment they want back £3 million pounds out of that budget, that proves their point, doesn't it? It was unsustainable. We, it does because we actually went to the Cabinet Office uh, as far back as the summer to say we've been charity of the year for every bank. Uh, we've run out of philanthropists. Remember, we've been running for 19 years and we have been saying to them, it's got to a point where we've got too many children and we can't cope through charitable fundraising. You have to come to the table and take some responsibility and help us Well, properly. they're holding a crisis meeting today, aren't they, to try and see what they can do to help those children Is that have now Is this what it abandoned. took? It took for a charity to close its doors for the government to have the appropriate meeting that they should have had years ago.